Today I'm going to tell you what's coming into kinetic typography. Stick around because some of the things that you are going to see are really outstanding. Kinetic type series by Hulk79. Throughout all the examples that we are going to see, there are always these components: experimentation, extreme expressivity, and interaction. First amazing thing is code and typography. So about code or programming and typography, you need to get into that if you really want to do experimental and interactive things and also comes with a lot of flexibility and going to crazy places because what these people are doing is just creating their own tools in a way when you code and you program uh, you are creating your own stuff from scratch no? in some degree cool so let's start with michelle duong as she defines herself a designer and coder she is from germany and her work is really fantastic and amazing. Some examples of interactive typography uh, based on creative coding. Let's check her Instagram. Really worth a follow, Michelle Duong. I really loved these examples here where she's interacting live with a very expressive typography or yeah, lettering, let's say lettering. Super interesting stuff. So this designer is really, really something. So we are going to continue watching uh, other artists, designers and studios. But before that, let's make a little pause and I'm going to tell you or talk a little bit about this platform p5.js where some of these uh, designers make their their pieces it's a friendly tool for learning to code and make art uh, free and open source the only thing that you need is a browser internet access and you even have some people like this lady here but vera uh, and she explains very 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 well everything about how to code here I even tried it myself, but I'm very bad at coding. But yeah, she is amazing and you can follow her and learn some, some things. She even has a tutorial about, or some tutorials about typography. One, two, three, four. So going back into individual amazing artists, now we are going to check the work of Yewan Song. As she explains herself, She's Korean born and she's based in New York That's cool. and the place from where she uh, creates her work is super interesting as she explains my work explores the discomfort experienced by marginalized users and then the work itself it's mega interesting so she creates these interactive pieces that where she creates graphic devices that interact with the video. Let's check some examples. Then very quickly, three amazing studios. One is Rebel 9, based on Korea, and they have some really amazing installations and pieces, like this one here. I. <laughs> I just by chance I found this and I felt in love you know this this way of reinterpreting what graffiti is then studio fiction uh, amazing stuff by studio fiction and Sult Sult graphic and maybe the queen of uh, or the best example of design combined with coding is Talia Cotton. So she has this studio and I, I've i been lucky enough to be on a, on a talk at OFF and she is amazing the way she explains her work and the way she approaches design. So search for talks by her in YouTube because you are going to learn a lot of stuff and feel very, very inspired by Talia Cotton. 
So I think that's one of the things that, that is coming. Uh, it's been around for a long time, but yeah, I think now it's coming st more strongly. And I'm talking obviously about code and typography. So the second amazing thing that's coming strongly is redefining typography. I'll start talking about the work of Bettina Comte, based in Amsterdam. Her work is really super playful and experimental and vibrant and you see things that feel like super mega fresh which I, I always say uh, that's very difficult <laughs> to achieve these days so check her portfolio and her Instagram also she is really pushing the boundaries of what typography is so now another designer from New York, New York, Stephanie Specht. Her Instagram is full of fantastic stuff that I really, really love. And she is another designer that's pushing the boundaries of typography and readability, but in a very expressive and interesting way. So again, Stephanie Specht. Then we are going to check the work of Lenarts and the Bruin studio. And they, they make some stuff with even with cavalry, which you know that we, we love cavalry uh, around here in this, in this channel. And they also create some super, super, super interesting experiments. Also, we are going to check the work of Paula de Alvaro, which is a Spanish designer that I think is one of the best in the world uh, when it comes to working with typography. Uh, she does not animate a lot, but I think her work is a really, really strong inspiration for any kinetic typographer because her approach to design is really strong and different and always typography is like on top of the pyramid so to say then i really want to mention the work by gabriela parra which is a colombian designer and her work is super fresh and her stance in life and design is super super interesting she does not animate a lot but still as paula de alvaro she can be an amazing inspiration for every kinetic typographer because the way she approaches design is really, really something. And last but not least, uh, the Instagram presence or feed by Bauhaus Typography, a legendary design school uh, from Germany. And they have this, this Instagram feed or presence which is full of super interesting and experimental typographic pieces and it is so nice that you know legendary schools are still uh, leading the way through design so to end this chapter about redefining typography I found this uh, book feels like it's very full of amazing stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave the link here below. I think it's a, a good gift for Christmas. They, they are not paying me anything. Uh, so it is always very nice to have books around the studio and disconnect a little bit from the screen. So these two things are coming really, really strong and hard the next year and beyond. One is code and typography and the other is redefining what typography is about. Okay, having settled that. Remember that I have this Buy Me A Coffee webpage where you can contribute. I would appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching this and see you in the next one. That's cool! Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79.